Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something that is quite interesting to take a look at. This is a very cool looking Jurassic World style sort of Tyrannosaurus Rex. I kind of get the feeling of a Jurassic World style T-Rex with this, but at the same time, it's almost a Jurassic World style toy, like it's just like the Mattel figures, and uh... Honestly, uh, some aspects are even a little better than the Mattel figures, but uh, this is by a very interesting company I'd never heard of until I stumbled upon them. I actually had seen this figure a few times, but I never knew what brand it was. And according to Amazon, the brand that makes this figure is, and I apologize if I don't say the name correctly, but it's Ulami, and... Uh, Pretty interesting, again, a brand I've never heard of, but the figure itself was pretty cool looking when I had seen it on Amazon, I had seen it prior on eBay and AliExpress, and uh, it wasn't until the other day when I was on Amazon and I saw that it was up on there for like 30 bucks, but there was also a discount that brought it down to like around the $20 range, and I was like, you know what, for 20 bucks, I'm going to take a shot in the dark and see how it looks, and it's actually kind of cool. I was pleasantly surprised when I opened the package. First of all, it's got some pretty good size to it. Very reminiscent, I would say, in size to what you would get with a Mattel Tyrannosaurus Rex. We also have a lot of paint work on it. Not a lot, but like a good bit. You know, we have paint from head to tail, which we can see. We have painted nails and everything, which is also a massive plus for the figure. And uh, nice naturalistic paint, I would say, for it overall. And if we turn it around and look at it over here, one thing straight away I'm excited about is there's no screw holes on the figure. And we also have, like, these injuries on the figure. They're not just painted on. They're actually sculpted into the figure itself. So that as well is definitely really cool. So... Pretty psyched to have stumbled upon something very interesting, different than what we've seen lately. Because again, it's a company I had never heard of, so definitely excited to check out any new company that starts producing dinosaur figures. So let's jump to a closer look at this brand new Tyrannosaurus. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our T-Rex, you can definitely see again kind of a JP likeness to the head sculpt of the Rex. Very Mattel Jurassic World like I would say as far as the appearance goes. The detailing looks pretty good but it's definitely a little washed out at the same time. You can see the details definitely there but it's not quite as highly detailed as what you would see on like a Mattel Rex or something like that. Like the detail is there, it's just not as crisp I should say as far as like the type of detail you would see on like the Jurassic World line. But it is definitely there, a little washed out, similar almost to a uh, like the Terra by Batat light and sound figures kind of, but not quite that bad, definitely a little better than that. You can see the one little downside is when we close the mouth, that's as far closed as it gets. It doesn't close perfectly or entirely. And the dinosaur does kind of stand here with the mouth open at all times. And that's because it actually is an action feature, which we will get to at some point here. But you can see we've got some nice variations of browns we also have some darker browns up here even darker browns in the eye socket area also kind of similar to a jp rex and all of the paintwork is applied pretty nicely pretty smoothly as far as the application goes you've got a nice green color for the eye you have a black pupil as well as a little white spot there to kind of give it some eye shine which is nice the teeth are all sculpted of course together but they look pretty decent you do have a pretty bright white for those teeth you also have a fairly darker tone of pink here for the inside of the mouth and you can see the detail even on that skin flap looks okay as we turn it here try to get a shot of the inside of the mouth you can see the tongue is sculpted there on the inside of the mouth there's not a whole lot of texturing on it but it is sculpted and we do have paint the entire way through here on the inside of the mouth there is some detail in there on the upper side but not a whole lot and my camera really didn't want to focus on it for some reason but the inside of the mouth looks okay for what it is as you move back here you have almost like some slight scoots moving down the back of the spinal column as well as some skin wrinkles and stuff moving down again variations of brown as you can see a slightly darker shade lighter shade darker shade and then we transition to a light kind of like a tan or like a khaki color here for the underside of the rex as we move down here a little bit further you can see the spinal column here moving along the back of the dinosaur some pretty decent skin texture honestly i think it even though it continues to still have that somewhat muted appearance it still doesn't look terrible you know definitely not bad 
As you move down into the arms, you can see some muscle definition as well as the fingers sculpted out pretty nicely. You've got the elbow back there. The fingers are painted with a gray and they do have a little bit of a shine to them. As you move back here into the stomach, you can see some more skin wrinkles and stuff. Move the leg back. It definitely makes a loud jerky noise when you move it, but you can see some skin wrinkles and stuff. Again, pretty smooth transition as we move up from that lighter tone of the underbelly up into the upper side of the Rex. Now we're going to push the leg back. I think it can go further than that, yes. So as we move back here a little bit further, you can see a button up here on the back, similar to a Mattel figure, again, that would provide us with an action feature. Quite a bit of variation of color as you move down the course of the leg, as well as, again, kind of like a striping effect with that brownish tone, that kind of darker brown. You can also see some nice muscle definition there in the thigh as you move down. You've got the kneecap there sculpted out and highlighted in the front of the leg, big bulging calf muscle. As you move down, you've got an okay looking foot sculpt, again some scoots down the toes, and nails again painted with that grayish tone. We do have dew claws sculpted, but just like Mattel, they got skimped out on when it comes to paint. But as you move back here, you've got a tail for your T-Rex, who look like, it kind of has like an injury right there. Looks like we've got even another one right there, potentially, so maybe we even add, ah, definitely, because there's another one right there. So we have more injuries than what we had seen on the... Uh, other side that's actually painted out there are a few injuries I guess you could look at those as maybe scars because they don't have any kind of like a bloody appearance or anything to them but you can see as you move out that light tan coloration continues to run out a little ways into the tail before tapering off and then we just basically have the brown out there on the tail you've got kind of like some ridges there running along the back of the tail of the t-rex there as well and uh, you do have two areas back here where you can see some seams this tail is actually uh, unassembled when it comes you have to actually pop it in similar again also to a mattel figure but because you do have to do that you do see a seam there and there isn't any articulation in that spot but there is articulation right here which we'll get to that here soon enough but the tail is quite short that's probably one of the biggest uh, downsides to the figure and I noticed that immediately in the promotional images so it's not like that was a surprise it doesn't look terrible but the tail is definitely shorter than it probably should be but if we take a look at the opposing side of the Rex you can now see again the injuries there kind of running one right through the eye one right there into the palette area and they are painted with a pinkish tone other than that it looks pretty similar over here pretty consistent with what we had seen on the initial side and as you move back you continue to see that again as far as the figure goes really nice looking sculpt for the most part just a little muted really nice looking paint the hands are of course pronated but you know that's not a surprise it usually is when it comes to the JP Tyrannosaurus as well but you can see again all of the same style of detail and paint but as you move back into the leg you do have a few more injuries back here in the thigh again sculpted out and also again painted with that kind of pinkish tone and then you move down into the foot sculpt again and now you can see the dew claw on the opposing side but yet again missing paint and then you move out into the tail again like we had seen initially but definitely a really cool figure you know way better than i was expecting it to be it definitely has its flaws but when it comes to a figure like this this one's kind of a nice pleasant surprise now as far as the articulation aspect goes for our Rex you can very clearly see we've got an articulated jaw again like I said it doesn't close perfectly you also have a spot of articulation in the neck but that also has to do with the action feature you do have articulated arms but they articulate together also part of the action feature you've got articulation in the legs which you can see you can move a few different you know uh, jumpy little joints there it doesn't have a major amount of articulation like a Mattel figure does but it does articulate nonetheless you also have swivels here in the ankles similar to a Mattel figure and then you have articulation in the tail out here as well but again you can see the head and everything moving that's also part of the action feature I'll check out the articulation of this leg so it doesn't go forward any more so than we already have it but it can go back a few little jerky joints yet again. But as far as the action feature goes, like I said, there is a button up here on the back. So if we push the button, you can see the jaw and arms go together. So he's a very, very happy Tyrannosaurus Rex. You've also got the tail back here that you can move. And this very much so reminds me of a Mattel action feature. But if you turn the tail, the head tilts and the mouth closes... So you get like a chomping action feature for your T-Rex, which I actually think is something that we've seen on the Mattel 
figures in the past. So pretty cool that they actually have some action features on the Rex as well. As far as the size goes, like I said, it is pretty decently large for a length, I'd say about 18 and three quarter inches or around 47 and a half centimeters. And then for a height to the top of the head, I would say about the eight and a quarter inch range or around 21 centimeters for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon from the mattel jurassic world toy line next to our tyrannosaurus here and you can definitely see it's got some pretty good size to it again like i said pretty similar in size to a mattel rex and to further show you that there is a Mattel Velociraptor and Dilophosaurus, if we actually turn this a little bit, next to our T-Rex, and you can see those as well, again, sized pretty nicely here with the Rex. We've also got a Mattel Roarivore-style Ankylosaurus with Ankylosaurus Bumpy standing next to our T-Rex to further show you again that it definitely has a massive size to it. But for a comparison, that probably will really tell the story for us here. We have the Extreme Damage, a.k.a. Extreme Chomp in size range of a Mattel Tyrannosaurus next to this very interesting Ulami version. And you can definitely see, even if we turn them here and actually put them face to face, you can definitely see they're pretty similar in size. The Ulami version is a little bit bulkier, a little bit bigger as far as body mass goes. But overall length and stuff, they're pretty similar. I think the Extreme Damage version might have a little bit of extra length just because the tail's a bit more proportionate. Not great, but definitely a little better than our Ulami version. And then here is a comparison we had to move back for because we have the Epic Roarin' Tyrannosaurus from Mattel next to the Ulami version. And these two, I would say, are definitely closer in size. I think the Ulami version might have just a slight bit of extra body mass, but overall they are very similar in size. Length department's going to go to Mattel because their tail's a bit longer, but if you happen to have the you know, epic roaring T-Rex or a Tyrannosaurus of similar size in your collection, you're definitely going to have a pretty good idea here of the size of the Ulami version. So this Ulami Tyrannosaurus Rex is actually pretty cool. Again, it's nowhere near the quality of a Mattel release as far as the fine detail goes. The Mattel figures are like light years better when it comes to the fine detail because even though it has a decent sculpt to it it definitely has a muted look at the same time a lot of the detail just doesn't shine the way it should and the actual fine detail just isn't vibrant by any means so that's probably one of the bigger setbacks for this figure that and the short tail the tail is definitely a bit shorter than it should be and uh, that does take away from the figure. I don't think it's a massive eyesore, but it is a little bit of a downside for it. Outside of that, though, it's got some pretty nice paintwork to it. And if the sculpt was a little more vibrant, I think the paintwork would actually look really good on it. We do have paint from, you know, head to tail, which is a plus, something you don't always get from Mattel. You also have painted nails, and every nail on the figure, minus the dew claws, are painted, which is also something that, again, is a nice step in the right direction when it comes to a figure like this and we've got very cool little things like the scars and injuries and stuff through the course of the Rex that I do like and the uh, paintwork again like I said is nicely done and very smooth as far as the transitions go and it looks nice and natural as far as the actual paint scheme because there's not a whole lot to it and it looks natural overall we also have some pretty cool action features nothing to really write home about nothing that we haven't ever seen before but they're still pretty cool and a surprise to me. I didn't really expect action features on it, so that was definitely a nice little surprise. And the articulation is okay, a little jerky in certain areas, and the fact that most of the articulation kind of has to do with the action feature itself is a little bit of a downside, but at the same time, it still is pretty cool that it has any articulation at all. So if you are interested in grabbing this Tyrannosaurus, I will include a link in the description to where I purchased mine on Amazon. If you happen to have Amazon Prime, it took a whopping one day to get here, so you'll get it pretty quick. So if you are interested, check that link, go grab this Rex, and also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.